Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have a remake of a 2020 video. Firstly because it was so cringe. It was so cringe, just watch a little of it. Today's video is a really, really requested video by a lot of people and it is basically talking about FreeSync. What is FreeSync? What does it do? And most of all, basically... And as you saw, the way I speak, the way, the way I, I pronounce things it is so, so different now that I actually felt the need of doing um, a, a remake of the FreeSync video because even nowadays people are still watching that video from time to time and commenting, having doubts, so I felt like people, if people are still watching, why not remake it, make it better, give more info and explain things better in a better accent and with better, with better editing skills. So yeah, in this video I will explain what FreeSync is, how can you use it, how to activate it, how to know if it is working or not, what does it do in general, so everything about FreeSync and what you need to, to know about using it, uh, if you should use it or not, um, if you are actually with it activated or not, if things are working properly or not, okay? And that's what I'm gonna explain in this video. And as always, leave a comment in the comment section if you have some doubts. And let's finally go to the part that you want to see, right after the sponsor of today's video. Today's video sponsor is GVG More, bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings, and you'll have an activated system. FreeSync is an adaptive synchronization technology for LCDs that supports a variable refresh rate. It was made to avoid tearing and reduce the stuttering caused by the misalignment in between the screen's refresh rate and the content's FPS. FreeSync was developed by AMD and was announced back in 2014 to compete against NVIDIA's locked VRR technology known as G-Sync. And as the name suggests, FreeSync is free to use, has no performance penalty and improves the overall gameplay smoothness while delivering much less input latency than the good old VSync. In January 2017, AMD announced the second generation of FreeSync, where they removed the minimal frame rates and set up a maximum on-screen latency. This, while also doubling the color volume with support for wide color gamut spaces, being out of the box ready for OLED and HDR panels. As I said before, FreeSync is an adaptive sync technology, meaning that the display will dynamically adjust its refresh rate to equal the FPS numbers being produced by your GPU while gaming. This helps remove stuttering delays caused by the video interface having to finish the current frame and screen tearing when starting a new frame in the middle of the transmission, something that happens when you disable vertical sync on a non-FreeSync monitor. FreeSync's supported range is from 9 to 240 Hz, although monitors don't usually have such ranges and usually start at 30 or 40 Hz. So inside the range of your monitor, the transition to a lower FPS number is almost undetectable to the user, unless of course it is a really big drop. This because the monitor keeps displaying the currently received image until a new frame is presented to the video card's frame buffer, and only then starts the transmission of the new image. And this simple mechanism provides lower monitor latency and, at the same time, a smooth and virtually stutter-free experience. There are three steps to activate FreeSync. The first one is to check which connections your monitor supports and if all of those same connections support FreeSync or not. For example, my previous monitor supported the HDMI and DisplayPort, but the FreeSync and 10-bit color range would only be accessible via DisplayPort, meaning that I was forced to use DisplayPort if I wanted to use FreeSync. The second step is activating FreeSync in your monitor. LG monitors, for example, have the option into the game menu, and I suppose it is more or less the same, the same thing for the other brands, so yeah, just go to your monitor settings and activate FreeSync. 
And the third and final step is to go into your AMD Radeon settings or your NVIDIA software panel and check if FreeSync option is available and activated. It generally enables itself once you enable FreeSync on your monitor settings, but well, I guess it doesn't really hurt to check it out. And of course, if you're running a newer Xbox model or a PS5 and you have the option to enable FreeSync or variable refresh rate, do it, as the overall smoothness will increase and the gaming experience will definitely step up. Well, we all know the mighty V-Sync. V-Sync is also a synchronization technology that locks your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate in order to make the image aligned and the gameplay fluid. The thing is, it adds a good amount of input lag, and once you go below or above the same exact FPS number matching your monitor's refresh rate, you're gonna have stutters. And if you disable it, well, you're gonna have screen tearing. And both suck harder than a horny chick. With FreeSync, you just need to lock your maximum FPS to your monitor's refresh rate and call it a day. Although I generally advise people to limit their maximum FPS to their monitor's refresh rate minus 3. This in order to avoid any kind of screen tearing caused by FPS fluctuations. For example, if you have a 144Hz FreeSync monitor and you limit your FPS to 144, there might be a fraction of a second where your FPS goes to 145 or 146, going out of your FreeSync range and causing a brief screen tearing that destroys the gameplay smoothness. But if you limit the FPS at 141, even if, for a fraction of a second, the FPS number goes to 143 or 144, it will still be inside the FreeSync range, so no stuttering or tearing will occur, letting you enjoy your gaming session smoothly and with almost no input latency. Well, first of all you need to disable VSync in case you are using it, and like I said before, lock the FPS to minus 3 your monitor's refresh rate. So if you have a 75Hz monitor, lock the FPS to 72. If you have a 144Hz monitor, lock the FPS to 141, and so on. As long as FreeSync is activated, the gaming experience has to be smooth and with no tearing at all. If you see tearing, it means FreeSync isn't working as it was supposed to, or maybe your FPS locking software isn't actually doing its job properly. To lock your FPS, if you use an AMD card, you can use the AMD Chill feature and set the minimum and maximum FPS to the same exact value, or you can use the frame rate target control as well. And if you use an NVIDIA card, well, you also have the inbuilt frame limiter inside their control panel. You can also use RTSS, Rivet Tunner Statistics Server, included with MS Afterburner that will work with GPUs from all brands, being AMD, NVIDIA or Intel. And I mean, some games even offer you the option to limit the FPS inside the game without needing to use any of this, which is also cool. Once again, if you see any tearing or stutters inside your FreeSync's range, then it isn't working properly. But if the experience feels smooth, even at 50 FPS, let's say, it is working just fine. So guys, hope you enjoyed this remake video uh, about FreeSync. Once again, if you have any doubts, just leave them on the comment section. I will answer as fast as I can. Uh, I believe that I answered most of the questions that you might have in this video in terms of what is FreeSync, how does it work, what do you have to do to activate it in your monitor, then your software, uh, what can you do in terms of range and so on. I do believe that I answered those questions, but if you still have doubts or if you have any doubt beside those questions, well, once again, comment section and I'll answer as fast as I can. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one.